Here are some notes on anesthesia-induced rhabdomyolysis. The pathogenesis of this type of rhabdomyolysis is unclear. It involves muscle contraction in the presence of an unstable sarcolemma. Succinylcholine, for instance, causes depolarization of muscle membranes, which can cause membrane damage, leading to cell lysis and release of potassium, myoglobin, phosphate, and creatinine kinase. This has also been reported with volatile halogenated anesthetics in the absence of succinylcholine. So it's the volatile anesthetics and succinylcholine that can cause this. The most common associated myopathies are Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophies. To prevent this, you could avoid the volatile anesthetics and the succinylcholine, even for induction. So you might instead opt for propofol and rocuronium, for instance. You can prepare your anesthesia machine to remove traces of anesthetic gases as well. So again, you want to change to a clean machine. If you have a patient that shows signs of anesthesia-induced rhabdomyolysis, you can clean the anesthetic circuit with charcoal filters. You want to provide cardiorespiratory support. You want to rapidly correct hyperkalemia, volume resuscitate, diurese, and the patient might need ICU care until stable.